You can see that when you look at my folders pane on the left hand side of my Outlook that I have more than one contacts folder. Sometimes it's desirable to create a number of contact folders for different rather large groups that you work with, email to, etc. If you want to create more contact folders, it's really quite simple. Just right click the contacts folder and choose new folder. If I then give that contacts folder a name, I would always start with the word contacts and then a dash and then the name of the folder. The reason being, I want all my contacts folders listed together. And in order for that to happen, they all really need to start with the same word because the folders are often listed alphabetically. So if I put contacts-garden club, I can put all the members of the garden club into that folder. Now I don't want this folder to go under the contacts folder. I want it to be on the same level as my other contact folders. So I'll click on Outlook. It's going to also contain contact items. So the name of the new folder will be contacts-garden club. It'll contain contact items, not email items, but contact items. And it'll sit directly under Outlook or my top folder, which puts it on the same level as these other folders. And I'll click OK. What I see alphabetically listed here now is I have a folder called Contacts and it's the Garden Club. When I click it, I immediately am taken, if I go home, into the People view. And I may prefer to see the Business Card view. If I then want to add somebody to that folder, I'll simply go to my Inbox and I'll simply drag somebody to that folder. So I might drag Gordon to that particular folder. When I let go, there's his details there, so I'll save and close. When I click on my Contacts Garden Club, there I can see I've got one contact in that folder. And as I start to receive emails from people, I'll start to drag them and immediately put them into that Contacts folder and build my contacts from there. When I'm sitting on that folder in the lower left of my status bar, it says the number of items in this folder is one, and that's my contacts that Gordon is showing. If I wish to move people into that particular folder, I might go to my contacts folder here and if I was to grab um, a particular person, maybe Leanne, and drag her into the garden club folder, I've moved her out of family and friends and put her into the garden club. If I drag her out of that folder and put her back into family and friends, she's moved out of the garden club and gone back into family and friends. If I wish to copy her, I could right click and I could copy but I'm more likely to hold the control key and drag Leanne to the garden club. And notice my mouse has got a plus. When I let go, she hasn't been removed from family and friends, but she also now has a copy in the garden club. If I wish to delete a contact, I'll simply click on the contact, press the delete key, or there's a variety of ways. You could right click and you could delete, or even I've added a delete button to my quick access toolbar. So whatever's quickest, I'm going to right click and delete, and it's gone. So you can create as many folders as you like, and I do tend to organise people into folders. And then I'll simply move people into the various folders or copy them between the folders. Now, as far as folder management goes, you do have a folders option also up here in the ribbon. And you can also create a new folder using this button, though I do prefer to right click and create a new folder this way. You can also right click and rename a folder, copy a folder, move a folder and delete a folder. And these same options are listed up here in the ribbon. If you need to rename the folder because you made a spelling mistake, if you need to delete the folder because it's no longer relevant, or you need to move it because where it ended up isn't where you want it to be, then that's what these particular options here and here will give you. If you then need to find a contact, it's really easy, um, and I think I've done this in an earlier video, I'll click on a contact folder, and up here you have the ability to search contacts. Also, one of the buttons we added to our quick access toolbar also allows us to search people, if you happen to not be in this folder. So I happen to be in the contacts folder, and if I was to use this, it would easily just simply drill down to everybody that had Kathy in their contact card. But let's close that X. 
let's go right up to the inbox, perhaps I had to search for somebody from here, then I would probably use the search people button on my quick access toolbar or the search people button here to the far right of my home tab. And I'd simply type like Kathy and anybody that had C-A-T-H-I anywhere in their name would be listed and I'd be able to click them and actually go to that person and then close. If I search for somebody with T-H, then everybody with T-H in their name, Thompson, um, Thrupp, um, and there'll be also instances of T-H in these um, other people as well, Bentham. So you want to be as specific as you can do. So it's easy enough to search for people and find people. Now some people also like to add categories to contacts. Let's go to a contacts folder for example. If I was to go to my contacts folder, what I could do is I could categorize certain people. I could click say on myself, I could go to the categorize button up here on the home tab, or I could even right click. And when I go to categorize here, there are a number of categories. But I might go to all categories to create a new one. And what I might do is create a new category. And these are the members of the golf club. And I can assign a color. So I'll choose a purple. And OK. So I've automatically been assigned to golf club. That's why the tick's there. So I'll go OK. Now I might choose one, two, and I'm holding the control key, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make these people also part of the golf club. I'll right click, I'll go to categorize, and I'll choose golf club. Now it's not actually showing golf club here, actually anywhere on my screen. So that's where I might go to view, and I'll actually add a column. And I might add the categories column. Now I can't see it listed here, so what I do is hit the drop down here and I'll go for, hmm, I'm looking for categories. Now I might go for all document fields and there's category there. I'll add it to the list and I may even move it up so it becomes the first column in this view. When I click OK, you'll see I now have a column called category. And as I scroll down, a lot of people don't have a category. If I then go to group my particular contacts by category, I can see that there are categories appearing here. And here's my category here, golf club. And there's other categories as well. A person can belong to more than one category. Let me show you. If I was to go back to maybe right clicking myself and going to categorize, and all categories, I might choose to create another group, new, called Gaming Club. Just something beginning with G, so it's close to Golf Club. And I'll choose a colour, again, maybe orange, and OK. And OK. Now I can see there's a category called Gaming Club, and a category called Golf Club, and I'm a member of both. And so that's the whole idea with categories, is you may want to be able to group people by a certain category. So you create categories by going to categorize in all categories. You create categories, you can rename them, you can delete them, you can even assign shortcut keys to them. But it basically means that you can view your particular contacts by any particular category and it organizes them. Hmm.